I think the field of, of moral philosophy, um, more particularly of practical ethics, is driven by recognition of, uh, of the important ethical questions that we face and are motivated by the idea that we can think clearly uh, and that we can work towards solutions to some of these very difficult problems. Uh, one of the things that, that motivates this particular area in philosophy is, is its focus on the real world. So, so lots of Derek's work seemed very abstract, but it was, high, was intensely motivated by a concern for for the world, um, and in, in particular for responding to what, what might seem to be the, the product of, of loss of religious faith. So we, the, one of the, the arguments that is sometimes made from people who, who come from a religious perspective, they say, well, without religion, what, what have you got to say about these ethical questions? Isn't it just your opinion, his opinion, there's her opinion, there's all, all these different views. There's nothing morally to be said if you, if you don't have a, uh, a religious backing. And I think Derek was, was really struck by how wrong that view was, that, that actually there were some very... Uh, important things to say about um, ethical questions that were not a, simply a matter of opinion, of, of subjectivity, that there were, some, uh, there were some objective moral truths to be found, and that by thinking very hard, very, uh, trying to be as clear as we could about what mattered, about what was at stake, that we could make progress with some of those. And what, one of the things that he mentioned a number of times when I heard him talk was that um, that there were lots of questions that that weren't settled that we didn't have the answers to but he often made the point that we'd only really just started to think about some of these so it wasn't so surprising that there was still work to be done he obviously personally felt uh, hugely driven to try and make as much progress as he could during his life um, towards some of these really fundamental questions uh, and he's left behind for the for those of us who are still here huge amount of work still to do um, but that's the task that faces us in, in practical ethics it's to to try and make progress to uh, to think more clearly to 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 weigh up the arguments um, to try and find common ground uh, the title of his book on what matters uh, for a long time was called Climbing the Mountain. And, and it was based upon uh, an idea that he had, which were that, was that these different approaches to ethics were climbing the mountain from different sides. Um, but that ultimately, at the top, they're getting to the same place, that there is this common ground. Uh, and I think that's one of the, the great challenges of ethics in this era. We have people from all sorts of different persuasions, religion, no religion, different philosophical perspectives. Um, we, we can't exist. We don't exist in an ethical soup where there's all just all these floating ideas and arguments. What we have to try and do is to find, uh, find the, the solid ground, to, to mix the metaphors, or to find the common ground uh, where we can agree uh, things that we think that everyone can agree are, uh, are ways forward um, and, we, and forms of compromise between our different perspectives. So, so that's the, the enormous task ahead of us that, uh, that Derek has, has left for us to work on and there, there is still a huge amount of work to be done, but that's, that's the importance, that's the, the task that motivates us.